right, welcome to a mini series within a series. You see, we were in a teaching series called Ghosted, focusing on the outpouring of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost, if you will, to use King James Version language. But then we were talking about not just the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, but the overflow of worship. And what does biblical praise and worship really look like? Because there can be different interpretations, many different preferences, styles, different churches worship different ways. And, and some would say, man, like worship and praise and worship is inward and it's reflective, meditative. You might not see anything happening on the outside. And while I think that there is a time and a place for that, for sure, if we really look at the seven different Hebrew words for praise that we see again and again throughout the Old Testament, which was written in Hebrew, it's actually not ambiguous at all. It's very specific in explaining. These seven different Hebrew words is yada, halal, zamar, tuda, barak, tehela, and shabak. Nailed it. And these are very specific action words showing what this looks like. So we want to go on a little journey because I just really have it in my heart that we as a church would praise and worship God in a way that reflects the way that they're worshiping him in heaven, in a way that the Bible instructs us and shows us and models for us what this looks like. We're not talking about mere preferences or cultural styles or denominational differences of ways. We're talking about biblical praise and worship. And I just come from the understanding that the passion of our praise should be proportionate to the severity of his sacrifice for us. When we really think about what Jesus went through to get for us our freedom, the gruesome death that he died on the cross, the betrayal, the torture, when we think about this and his great love for us to get for us our freedom and reconcile us to God, I just think it's worth more than a golfer's clap. I think it's worth more than, worth more than just like a, mm, that's good. And so I think that we should engage our bodies completely, fully in praise and worship, not in a style, not in a preferential way, but in a biblical way. So come on, let's go on this journey of this mini series, unpacking these seven different Hebrew words for praise. 